welcome to my channel welcome back if you've been here before welcome welcome if you're new here so as you can see i have a pick a card reading for you this pick a card is for the whole of february 2020 so a big thank you for tuning in and taking the time to watch this thank you for all of those that have participated in my instagram giveaway as i said it's the february pick a card reading we have four piles to choose from so take a moment pause the video if you need to and pick a pile obviously this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave what does not if you pick a pile you get into it and it really isn't resonating try picking another pile or it just might be a case that there just isn't a reading for you here this month but generally it is normally the first pile you pick for those that like to pick crystals i do have crystals pile number one has an amethyst Pile number two has a carnelian, pile number three has a hematite, and pile number four has a malachite. So pause the channel, pause the screen, and see which one you are drawn to. Take a moment. And when you're ready, I will leave the time stamps in the description box and in the comments below. So if you want to skip ahead to your time you can do that straight away and um, remember to give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and if you want to know when i'm posting more videos make sure to hit the bell so you get a notification and let's get on with pile number one hello pile number one if you picked the amethyst crystal then this pile is for you so let's have a look see and see what cards we have got Oh, I've just got my nails done, I can't use my hands. <laughs> the Queen of Spears. The Eight of Cups. The Seven of Autumn. The Ace of Autumn. The Druid. Mother Earth. Grandfather Sky. Medicine Bag. And give your relationship a chance okay so as a whole I can see there's a lot of questionability you've got obviously the give your relationship a chance card um, you've got the medicine bag, which is about don't make hasty decisions. And Grandfather Sky, which is also about decision making. Mother Earth, which is about feeling love and comforted and knowing that you are protected. And also the Druid, which is hold your space. So... With the Eight of Cups, that talks about departures. And the Queen of Spears is about expressions. I also see for you guys a lot of inner power with the medicine bag and the Queen of Spears. Obviously, that's about creativity and things. So, even with the grandfather sky there, it's about holding your place, but growing in strength and knowing that the sky's the limit and thus there is no limit. So, I feel like in the month of February, a lot of you will be concentrating on yourselves and your projects that you've got going on. Okay, let's have a look at these two cards here so you've got the have patience and don't worry take time to rest and plan your next steps a prudent investment of time or money 
followed by this one, which is a windfall of money, advice and assistance from others. A very successful project, a happy change in your career. I think some of you are in relationships and you've come to the point where it's kind of a, it's just going, you're going through the motions of this relationship and you're kind of thinking, well, I know who I am in this relationship. You don't necessarily want to leave the relationship, but you want to regain who you are. So it's about taking a step back, reevaluating yourself. Um, creativity and with the sky and stuff, some of your projects might be career projects, um, especially with the two career cards here, which are very good cards to have indeed about obviously money and things coming to your way and projects becoming very successful and things for you. With the Eight of Cups, it's about, um, obviously there's leaving a part of it, but it's also part of resolution. So I'm looking at this and I'm seeing some of you feel that you're not supported is the kind of the feeling that I'm getting you're not supported and things and it could be a relationship or it could be career based or there's something you guys are walking away from for some of you it may be a permanent step away but for most of you I feel that you're not walking away completely Obviously, if you're changing your career, you're changing your job, you will be. But I feel some of you are taking a step back from your relationship, your partner, or friendships and things. Taking a step back for yourself. And although a lot of people could see that as being selfish, it's really not. It's all about your self-love in that respect. Because taking a, a step back and reconnecting with yourself reconnecting there will help you move forward will help you with this journey you're being obviously you've got the medicine bag there so in appealing healing is happening and you know should know that there is no limits you can do whatever you set your mind to the only limits you have are the ones that you set on yourself um, of these are some new cards I've got here as well, guys. So I'm um, still getting used to reading these ones. But with Mother Earth, she's just reminding you that you are a child of Mother Earth. You are protected and you are loved and you are cared for. So you might have doubts or worries, but just remember you have got people on your side that will look after you. And especially with the Druid and holding your space, don't not do it because of fear. If you need to take that step back, take that step back. Because now's your chance to do it. And in taking a step back, most people will see a step back and think, oh no, that's the wrong direction. But this is telling you, in taking that step back, you will progress further than you could by standing still where you are. So by taking that step back holding yourself accountable for that and knowing that you're doing the right thing by taking that little step back to reevaluate yourself and you can then switch in a new direction you can regain your energy and you can go forward and obviously by leaving or taking that step back things will get resolved and you will need to have creativity with it you will need to have strength with it okay then with this give your relationship a chance work on your partnership I think sometimes when you get so caught up in daily life and in the motions of daily life and just walking through the motions and doing the things for the sake of doing them we kind of miss out on that spark that we so desire so by taking a step back from things or having a little rest a little break and recharging your batteries, realigning yourself, I think you can 
go forward and it will help okay and obviously for those of you that are in a relationship um there is obviously talk of being of leaving and um but obviously like i said this card is not just leaving it's leaving but things being resolved so it might be that you have to leave in order to resolve them knowing that you're protected and things and that you are loved and you are supported and just especially these two cards obviously are all very much holding your space <laughs> not progressing if you don't feel it's right to do so but just making sure that you're doing what you need to do for yourself but it's obviously if your relationship does need work then it's saying don't give up just yet if you've had to take a step back and you're um and ah and things it's okay to take that step back but just don't give up on your relationship i think some of you are obviously in a relationship and that is pointing towards your partnership with them but i also think this is a strong indication with the rest that's going on that this is a strong partnership with yourself the relationship you have with yourself don't give up on yourself because a lot of people obviously it's so easy to get caught up in other things you don't give yourself time or energy and you need to do that you need to give back to yourself so don't give up on yourself for most of you some of you obviously don't give up on your relationship for a lot of you if you need to take that step back please do take take that step back cater to yourself don't give up on yourself and then once you've done that and you will see a progression, especially abundantly financially, um, you will, as long as you've got patience and things, you will receive a lot of abundance. And then once all of that's happened, you can then work on your relationship further. Obviously, it's for those of you that aren't in a relationship and it is pointing towards the relationship you have with yourself. That will happen whilst you're taking a step back and whilst you're working towards different hobbies, different um, activities that you want to be doing. That will happen in the meantime in your creativity. That will happen. But for those of you that are in a relationship and it is kind of struggling a bit at the minute, you have to do this in order to then be at a level where you can go back in with a new set of eyes into your relationship i'm not saying like split up with them and get back with them but i'm saying take a step back if you need to do that obviously not all of you will need to do that but for those of you that do please do like take that step back and work on all of this if you need to work on your career or figure out your abundance right now please do that and put that if that's where your energy you feel your energy needs to be right now then please put your energy into that but it will all be resolved in the way that it needs to be resolved and you are absolutely being told to not give up on your relationship please do work on it obviously relationships always do need a little bit of work now and again so i strongly recommend doing that but do all of this first for those of you that are in a relationship and need to put some energy into that maybe by taking energy out and working on this you can kind of up your own energy levels and then you'll have more energy to put into your relationship okay but that's all i see for you part number one regarding what's going on in your february obviously it's general readings to so take what resonates leave what does not i hope you'll have a fantastic february and i shall see you all soon take care guys bye Hey guys, if you picked up pile number two with the carnelian, then this is pile is for you. Welcome. Let's have a look and see what card you've got. The nine of spears. The four of coins. The six of spring. The Ace of Winter, Medicine Guardian, Lord, 
nature spirits peace pipe and chemistry all what's in store for your february well it does look good february for you guys so the nine of spears which is of about having strength and setting boundaries and then you've got the four of coins um which is about improvement and money so that's always a good one to pop out you've got the six of spring wonderful news is on its way smart choices that bring rewards success and public recognition so again more success which is really good don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas that should be implemented. Um, so again, that fits in with the Nine of Spears having um, obviously set boundaries and things and there will be challenges and strength there. These two cards, you've got the Peace Pipe and then you've got the Medicine guardian so the medicine guardian is about being open to healing information so any information that arises within yourself that causes you discomfort or any thought that you require some healing like any sad or negative emotions listen to it or if there's anybody you trust like family friends around you in your life that are telling you certain things that would require healing then he is reminding you to listen and trust them and be open to that healing information, which leads us over to the peace pipe, which is about healing everything, letting go of any negative energy, any past relationships, friendships, anything that's caused you any hurt or anything like that. It's all happening now. So these two are beautifully paired to come out together because obviously you can have support with your healing you're going to know what needs to be healed and then you'll be able to heal it and the healing is already taking place which is good you've got the lord which it says take charge with authority so again it's about taking charge um taking control of what you need to do and what is needed to do um obviously that requires strength to do that especially when you're facing inner healings that you need to do um, it's not always easy to bring up healing and work on healing especially on yourself and if it's things that really hurt you you don't really want to face it or do it but that's just reminding you that you do need to do it to be able to move on which brings us to this card here which is basically just telling you you've got a lot of happiness on the way which is always great to hear and then we've got the chemistry card which says there's a strong magnetic attraction here so for those of you that are single i see for you that the healing that needs taken place is to do with an ex-lover you thought you kind of got over it but I think deep down there's still some hurt there. The Nine of Spears is trying to tell you to remain strong and I think you will be meeting somebody or you have met somebody. Looking at these are gonna be the vibes that you have met somebody or there's a friend or there's something that's caught your somebody that's caught your eye and you're not going anywhere with it. It's okay to set boundaries when you like somebody because you've been hurt in the past. It's all right to set your boundaries there. And that is fine to do so. But don't set your boundaries too high. Like don't build a brick wall so they'll never get to you. Make sure the boundaries that you set are realistic. Just do a small wall so that they can you can still chat over the top of it. Obviously you've got the wonderful news on its way. And again, about being smart with your choices and having success. 
and again challenges meeting new people and trying to rekindle or start a relationship is difficult especially in this day and age because you don't know who to trust who's out for what but this card's reminding you it's, it's, it's important to communicate clearly and accurately so as long as you put your foot down and be like right this is what i will accept this is what i will not accept this is what i'm willing to do this is what i'm not willing to do things like that they you have clearly communicated your boundaries and then it's, it's fine it's out there you've laid it all on the table and you set yourself up for the happiness again with the lord card taking charge of it making sure that you communicate them your boundaries clearly and accurately especially with this the chemistry card obviously if there is a strong attraction there then go for it don't be afraid to go for it but i will say wait until you've completed your healing before you do go for it okay because it is important to heal old wounds because you don't want to be kind of not do this go for this new person this new relationship and then they creep up and overflow and it interferes with the new one you want to make sure you're fully healed you take charge of your fully healingness you've got the strength to do that and you move forward so that you can do that and that will lead to your happiness so yeah i think most of you it, it would be leading towards a relationship for those of you that are already in a relationship or haven't think well there's no one that i could think of i think for some of you this could be related toward money obviously you've got the four of coins there as well which is he's holding on to his money in the picture i'll show you which always thinks to me that he's you know he's holding it back he's not spending it obviously um january is pretty much a hard month for everyone so moving into february everyone's got their first pay of the year and it's easy after the whole Christmas spending spree to go January with being really strict with your payments. Come February, a lot of people either splurge or continue to be really strict with their money. So like he is, he's holding on to his money, he doesn't want to do anything with it. So I think some of you, obviously with the healing and things, need to heal your relationship financially. So heal your relationship with money especially with the success and the happiness and everything obviously set your boundaries if you're gonna go shopping but like, well i'm not gonna spend absolutely nothing but i'm not gonna spend a million pounds either you know set yourself a boundary if you want to go clothes shopping say if you need i don't know you got a event that you need to go for and you need to get a new outfit for it be like right i'm gonna set myself a limit of whatever you feel is affordable for you for the sake i'm just gonna say 50 pounds i'm gonna that's 50 pounds say for a dress for shoes for jewelry for handbag everything i'm gonna get in that budget by setting that boundary for yourself and be communicating with yourself clearly about that's what i'm okay with then you know going into the shops you're not going to go to a really expensive shop where only the handbag is going to cost you 50 pound you can go more affordable shops um on the high street or you know you can work your way be like right okay this is this this is this isn't this and this equals 50 pounds that's my 50 pounds spent i can go home or for some of you that i can have less that you want to spend which is completely fine sometimes i don't even want to spend anything I think right i've got i've already got the shoes i've got the bag I've got everything, I just need the dress. So set yourself the boundary of I'm literally going to only go and get a dress or get the top and the trousers, things like that. So you set yourself your boundaries before you even left the house or before you've gone shopping. So you know what's going on with that. So it is important, I think, obviously with this chemistry card regarding the money side of things there's a strong magnetic attraction here um 
so I think especially with the good news and the happiness and thing I think you are going to be abundant and you are going to be able to do it um but yeah with the chemistry card it does make me feel that sometimes I think some of you can can displudge um for example I am one of those people that if I go out I have to I do set myself targets or this is what I'm going to spend this is I'm only going to get like one pair of shoes if you go out and there's a sale I'm one of these people that love shoes so I end up with loads of shoes so I have far too many shoes so right I'm only going to if I see I'm not going to go looking for anything but if I happen to go and I see five pairs of shoes I like I'm only going to come home with one you know set your boundaries and money things like that obviously you might not be clothes shopping it might be food shopping it might be a building extension um it could be whatever money it is you're spending but for those of you um on the money side of things i think yeah setting boundaries and having that healthy relationship with money and doing that healing with the money um will help you out as well but that is all I have for you, pile number two. Obviously, this was a general reading, so if it did resonate, great. If it didn't, um, try looking at a different pile. So, but take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and I hope to see you all soon. Take care, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. This is pile number three. If you've picked the hematite crystal, this pile is yours. So let's jump into it and see what you got. Four of Spears. Ten of Spears. Death. Life experience. The world. Two of Winter. Hermit. Star Ancestor. Eagle Medicine, Prayer Feather, and stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. Well, the third thing, you've got more cards than the other two groups that I've done so far. But let's dive and have a look. The Four of Spears is about love, friendships, and celebration. The Ten of Spears is about being overwhelmed. The Death card. Uh, followed by in typical tarot would be the tower card but in this one it's life experience but don't stress everyone sees them as real negative cards however i do not i think they're really good cards to get so um obviously death is about something ending but it's also strongly about rebirth new beginnings the life experience card it says let go of belief systems that no longer work for you, an important life-changing event, a situation that leads to significant opportunities. So with the life experience card, I often think, well, it's like a tower, it falls down to the ground. Um, sometimes towers need to fall because the foundations need to be made stronger so you can rebuild. So again, I like quite like these cards. But that is followed by the world card, which is a brilliant success. The freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. So although you've got a couple of these kind of bad, they're not bad, but perceived as bad cards, we have got some good ones, so don't worry. Uh, two of winter, which is indecision, is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellect and the emotional. Um, we got the hermit. So the hermit is um, just about retreating and recharging your batteries. And we got the star ancestor card there, which is follow the voice of your soul. So listen, listen to yourself. Eagle medicine here. It's about looking at things from a different perspective. And we've got the prayer feather there. So the 
her feather is da, 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 I think it's literally just gone out of my head the prayer feather is about um oh god why is my brain going blank of course yeah it's about love flowing to you and through you so that's a really good love card I knew it was there somewhere in my head but and you've got this one stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance Um, looking at this as an overall whole, starting off with this one, which is obviously about friendships, love and celebrations. So I think maybe you had met someone, it's gone really well, uh, there's been celebrations, everyone loves them, but somewhere along the lines, things got overwhelming. Uh, maybe it moved too fast, things got overwhelming. Um so the relationship itself crushed and dissolved um or maybe it hasn't quite got there yet and it needs to end so that you can have a new beginning and you can rebuild so in order obviously i don't like to sugarcoat things a lot of readers and things like of course they try to sugarcoat it i'm not one of these people that like to sugarcoat it i'm just gonna say what it is because it's only fair for me to do so so if you're in a relationship and it hasn't been going well so lately and you've been feeling feeling overwhelmed then the cars are telling me that you need to end it um but only obviously if it feels right for you to do so if that's something you've been thinking of doing for a while then this is just that little push that you need that is annoying me at my stage some of the squeaking is bugging me um sorry about that so but an ending only means there's a new beginning to come the new beginning would be by rebuilding restarting you know if something you like this card says here let go of the old belief systems if something's no longer serving for you no longer working for you you know it's important to get rid of it it's obviously predicting a life changing event and a situation that leads to significant opportunity sometimes um obviously if you're not in a relationship then um this is obviously there's something going on in your life that was all happy and fun and happy and things um but it's got overwhelming for you it could be work it could be a friendship it could be anything um i am getting a strong relationship vibe but obviously if you're not in a relationship then um this is also relating to other situations so the situation was great at the start it's got overwhelming it's either ended or due to end but that's all right because you can rebuild your life with what you've learned um which obviously by rebuilding your life is going to be a brilliant success and once everything once you've gone back down to the foundations you can rebuild in any sorry i keep knocking the camera you can rebuild in any direction that you want to do you can rebuild it the way you want to rebuild it and rebuild it anew um obviously the two of winter about indecisions so i still feel like with this situation you will be struggling because I think you'll have other people in the background telling you how you should rebuild your life. But following on with these cards as well, um, this one is telling you don't listen to other people. It's time to listen to yourself, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition, listen to your soul. What is your soul want? What do you want to do? How do you want to rebuild your life? Rebuild it the way you wish to do it because that is the right way to do it. Obviously you've got the hermit there, which is just reminding you, if you need to take a step back, you need to just take a moment to retreat, to truly figure out what it is that you want to do, what moves you want to make going forward, then it is very important that you do that. And you can do that now. With the Eagle Medicine card here, 
it is reminding you to make sure that you look for things in a different perspective look from different angles see things that you might not have been seeing because if we look at something straight on we'll only ever see the front of what we're looking at but if we try seeing things from different perspectives we try and go from the sides up and down we might see actually what the only bit we'll see and might have looked really bad and scary but looking at it in different directions we can see actually do you know what that was just a shadow on it it wasn't actually the thing it's actually a lot better than i thought it was going to be and actually that would be what i want to do so make sure you look at things in different directions and the prayer of feather card give yourself all the love you deserve the universe is showering you with love right now it is pouring love into you you've got love around you you may not seem it but you have so just pour love into yourself and into whatever it is you're doing as long as it comes from a good place and a place of love in your soul and you will be fine and Obviously, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, for those of you that have lost a relationship, then in the future, this is just reminding you that just because this relationship didn't go great or has ended, doesn't mean that you'll never have one ever again and they'll all go the same way. There is a high chance that that's definitely not going to happen. So just stay optimistic and obviously if it's not about a relationship breakup and it's just about another situation that you've got going on it's just reminding you just to stay optimistic and you know you think positive about it okay and romance will come whether that's you know this card is particularly like obviously a romance card but I think it would mean for you guys that just keep the faith, positive thinking and the love that you give out will come back to you. I was just reminding you, the love you give will come back to you. But that is all I have got for you, part number three. Thank you so much for watching this reading. Obviously, it was a general one. So take what resonates, leave what does not. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button and I shall see you all next time. Bye! Hello group number four. If you fit the Malachite crystal then this is your reading. So let's have a look and see what cards you've got. And pick them up. The four of cups. The six of coins. The Knight of Cups, the Six of Winter, the Chariot, Seer, Guardian Angel, the White Buffalo, Ancestors, and Honeymoon. So we've got a lot going on. And the Four of Cups leans towards the some hesitations in your February but you will be getting gifts come your way and there will be promises made as well so six of winter positive changes are on their way a welcome relief from troubled times traveling or relocating followed by the chariot which is one of my favorite cards Success that comes from dedication and self-discipline, celebrating your accomplishments, being in the spotlight. Okay, ancestors here. So ancestors is about having support and gaining lots of knowledge. And the white buffalo about security and abundance this one quite guardian angel goes i love this card it's so pretty it goes really nicely with ancestors because again it's saying that you are not alone you have guys and you have got support from people 
and the seer which is seeing things beyond the current situation so whatever situation it is that is causing you to be doubtful to be you know disconcerning and just not really not really sure about about yourself or the situation i feel that there's something going on that you're not quite if you feel it's amiss so it could be somebody trying to bribe you with gifts or telling you things and like making promises to you things and you're not quite sure if they're going to keep them but then you've got a few very positive cards so the six of winters obviously um you know you might be feeling like this or there's you might have had reason not to trust people but people are obviously gifting to you and you're receiving gifts and um obviously the coins is a money card so it might be in a financial nature might not be but people are also obviously making promises to you and i feel that they will stick to them when you've got obviously the uh, six of winter here and the chariot about things are going to be going your way you know you've got a lot of positivity you may travel relocate but you're gonna have a lot of positivity in the month of february so whatever situation you are in try and see beyond it see i think at the minute with especially with this card and this one you're looking you're looking at the situation and you can only see the situation you can't see kind of what happens after it you can just see it this is reminding you you're not alone you have got guides and things around you and you know you've got protection there and you've got abundance and everything coming your way so you do just need to try if you can visualize or if you can see what happens after this see what's on the other side you're not alone you're gonna have people that will help you to do that and um, you'll have guys from the spirit realms helping you to do that you have your ancestors helping you to do that but you'll suddenly i think gain oh sorry the dogs are, are going just waiting for him to stop a minute please calm down but yeah sorry about that so you will gain knowledge you'll just kind of i think know you'll know what to do you'll know who to trust who not to trust and you'll be able to see what you need to do and see things further along the lines from what they are and you will be able to move forward from this i think i just kind of get this feeling like you guys are kind of stuck right now and you kind of can't see your way forward but patience you've got all the abundance and everything working towards you people are going to be gifting you things promising you things um that might be to do with partly why you're stuck and not sure which way to go but if you can see yourself beyond this situation you'll gain the knowledge you need to see yourself beyond the situation and it will bring positivity and you'll be able to move and you'll be able to get moved beyond this situation and you know once you're dedicated to doing this you'll be able to and obviously self-discipline but you will be able to move forward and you'll be able to get where you need to go and obviously you've got the honeymoon card here which is enjoy the bliss of holiday time together um regarding this reading i do think that's more leaning towards once you've got beyond the situation you're working towards whatever it is that you want to work towards you know you've got that the honeymoon feeling if you like um of you know everything's happy you can do it you know exactly where it is you need to go to be you can kind of relax and enjoy where you are and how you've got there and you can just kind of chill and relax and that's what's beyond this situation well 
that is all I have for you, group number four. Thank you so much for tuning in. Obviously, it is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not. And I hope, hope, hope to see you soon. If you did like this reading, give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button. And I shall see you all in my next video. Have a good February. Bye.